First of all, you just really need to be be very honest and identify your current level of fitness. Again, this is very individual, depending on your history and your running history. Say that on average you've been out two or, two or three times a week in the past couple of months, and then you pick a training plan that requires you to run four or five times a week. That's kind of a recipe for injury. Most injuries happen through overtraining, essentially just doing too much too soon, doing too much for your body to cope with. So just be honest with yourself and you might think, oh well, I can cope with it, my body can cope with it. Very rarely does that work, very rarely does that, that mindset of sort of, oh I can plough on through. Um, it might not happen immediately, you might get through four, six, eight weeks, but overuse injuries tend to be inflammations which can spark up at any time. I wouldn't say be cautious, especially the first time you do it or the second time you do it. Just err on the side of caution. The marathon training cycle really requires you to dial, dial a lot of these things in, whether it be the endurance stuff or the speed stuff or the strength stuff. So everything will go up a notch. Intensity, endurance. So yeah, if, if in doubt, just, just err on the, on the conservative side. Be realistic look at your current life circumstances if you're someone who's very busy and you've got a busy job or whatever it is your family life whatever it is can you then carve out the time to go out for four five six seven times a week a training plan should be a plan and a guide really but not it should not be didactic so there should be a lot of flexibility in there so if you're feeling tired physically and mentally do have a rest day, just have a day off or have a couple of days off. That's why they are so long in, in some respects because life does throw up, curveballs and um, other things happen. So they are all designed with a degree of flexibility so you can, say you get injured for instance or you get a niggle or you've, you become ill, you're off for a week or two weeks. A 16 week training plan should still get you to the start line in pretty good shape even if you've you know miss some time you should definitely do some cross training in your cycle i really like cycling road cycling you know just a couple of hours out on the bike can be really low intensity again just get shake some of the lactic out my legs and i feel like i'm uh, ready to hit my training plan again things like strength and conditioning that's really important i will do a dedicated video on that it's really helped me to think about training plans holistically so the running it's definitely one is a big variable but then you add in things like strength training uh, like conditioning like cross training cycling the way you eat the way you recover the way you sleep all these things just really help build strength fitness endurance and really just augment your running really nicely you can buy training plans online or go to a coach which is a good thing in itself because you can then have a dialogue and it's kind of nice just to chat through some things with a coach if there's some if stuff you're not sure of or don't understand or especially if you don't have a huge amount of experience but equally you can get some very good stuff online lots of good coaches Mike Gratton I've done that training plan a couple of times and that's very good this time I'm using a training plan kind of based on this or one of the training plans in here, Advanced Marathon. If you've done three, four, five marathons, I really recommend this book because it kind of just helps you just go a little bit deeper um, and some really good ideas about how to get faster and fitter and stronger and all that good stuff. My training plan is based on one of the plans in there, but again, I'm quite flexible with it and uh, I'm really happy to switch out sessions um, depending on how I'm feeling. So yeah, just sit down with a pen and piece of paper and write through what you're trying to do, what's your ambitions, what you're trying to run the marathon in, and then see if these are realistic goals this time around.